just before Jesus went back into heaven, after he rose from the dead, in that time period when he was on earth, his disciples came to him and they asked him a question. They said, Lord, are you restoring the kingdom to Israel at this time? And notice what Jesus says in response. This is such an interesting thing. He says, it is not for you to know times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. I cannot tell you how often we are asked, when, 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 when? When will this happen? When will that happen? When will the second coming be? When will the rapture be? When will the Ezekiel war be? When will this happen? Listen, as many times as we've asked, been asked that question, also we've answered, we don't know. Now, it is interesting when you're looking at Bible prophecy, you're looking at this event in relation to that event. You often um, say, okay, what, a, you know, this, this is going to happen. That's going to lead to this happening. That's going to lead to this happening. But there's something that's missed, I think, when people begin to look at Bible prophecy and they are just trying to figure out when it's going to happen. And you're missing the biggest part of Bible prophecy, okay? Because when you're just chasing dates, then you don't understand why we're given Bible prophecy. And the main reason is so that we would understand the person and the nature of Jesus Christ. Okay, it's not about avoiding events per se, although there is wisdom in avoiding events, certain things, right? Get saved. If you don't know the Lord, you need to seriously consider how the world is absolutely changing at the like an unbelievable rate. So much is happening right now and there is so much uncertainty and insecurity in the possibility of humanity existing. But you have to understand that judgment is going to come. So if you haven't repented, that is it is extremely wise to say wait a minute I see the writing on the wall here. I understand what's going on. I can tell God is preparing to judge the world. And it's wise in that case to repent. But when you're just trying to figure out, oh, what about this? Could it happen this Friday or next Friday or this Saturday or whatever? You're looking at these events and you're trying to sort out the events this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, this day, whatever that is. I'm telling you, I'm trying to save you from missing the joy of prophecy. The joy of prophecy is the joy of the scripture. It's the gospel, the good news. It is Jesus Christ, okay? The good news that we have, we have because it was delivered to us by Jesus Christ. Okay, Jesus told them, hey, it's not for you to know all of this stuff. Now he is eventually gonna raise up from this group men that will speak prophecies, very specific, very specific things. I don't know what's wrong with my mouth tonight. Very specific things that will um, detail events of the future. He will do that, right? But what he's basically telling them is he's not going to give them a date. He's not telling them that they're not going to know some of the future events. He's just saying you're not going to exactly know when it's going to happen. And it's very interesting when you look at it like Matthew 24, when you look at through uh, Revelation, it, the different things it says, okay, and then this happened, or, you know, um, 
even in, in Matthew 24, it says, watch for this event, and then you know that you're in this time frame. He doesn't say, like he did in Daniel, here's the exact number. As a matter of fact, it's very interesting, because Daniel, in the prophecy of the weeks of Daniel, the 70 weeks, he spells out from this day to this day, that's when the Messiah will be cut off, right? And a number, an exact number, a number that we can tie exactly to a day in history. And then he says, "There's, but then there's this one additional week. No time frame. No number of days, nothing like that. It's so interesting. So this is what I'm, this is why I'm saying this to everyone here that's watching my, this uh, video. I just don't want you to miss the reason that, I mean, look, you open up the book of Revelation, it says it's a revelation of Jesus Christ. We look at the prophecies of the scripture, and what do we see? We see another, like a deeper, clearer glimpse of who God is, what his nature is like. Most of the things that the Old Testament saints knew about who the Messiah was, they knew from prophecy, okay? When Jesus came, they missed it because they misread some of that stuff or they just didn't understand it completely. They, a lot of people missed that the suffering servant aspect of the coming Messiah, but those prophecies were there. That was spelled out. They got to see it eventually through the scripture if they were paying attention. So listen, so it is. That's what I'm saying. So it is now. Some people even miss, even people that are studying prophecy, that are excited about this, they're studying the Bible, you know, just to know the dates or to try to figure out, like to crack the code that God has there, literally people will say, hey, look, I, I did the math and I figured it out and this is the day it's going to happen. But listen, you can't do that. You can't crack that code because God has reserved it for a specific time. We don't know that that date, but we do know who God is revealed in these prophecies. And we do know that these events were told to us so that we could see when it happens, not to lose heart, or when things start to happen around us and the world starts to seem like it's going haywire, like a lot of the things that are happening right now. We could look at it and we could say, oh, of course, of course. You know, Vindog sent me an article that was talking about people flocking to an like a uh, artificial intelligence Jesus. And it's like, I, I'm at this point, it's like, yep, that's no surprise. That's where the world's going. But listen, the world, when it's flocking to all of this craziness and this insanity, they're diving deeper into darkness and we are the ones that should shine brighter in this time just just as the darkness gets darker the light gets brighter by nature okay so this is what i'm saying when you look at prophecy you should look for the lord jesus christ in that you should see the nature of god in it you should look for the revealed um personality and person of our savior and when you're um, walking in this world and things are going haywire don't lose heart I, I i'm just saying that because i think a lot of people are don't lose heart okay we know this is coming we know because god's word said it's going to get like this it's going to get crazy men will be lover of themselves love lover of pleasures all of that stuff you know, we have that already spelled out for us. So um, 
keep to it, man. Keep to it. Keep loving people. Keep sharing the gospel. Keep speaking truth because we know our redemption is drawing near. So may the Lord richly bless you. Happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. May the Lord richly, richly bless you. I'll see you again on Monday.